Hey, friends and students! My name's Chris, I'm an experienced English teacher, and I teach the only online courses for politics, history, and social sciences in English as a second language. If you're interested in learning more about the courses I teach, especially if you're going into university and need help with your English, write to me at the email address in the description of this video. Today, we're talking about police. The state, or the government, is a lot of different things. But as I explain in my video on the subject, you can see here, the core purpose of the state, its core purpose and function, has stayed the same throughout its existence. The state exists to enable a few people to live off the labor or the work of everyone else. In English, you can use a number of vaguely defined terms to describe what the state does. For example, you could say that the state governs or rules. You could say it's in charge, like you might describe a boss. Um, and some would say that the state leads, though I don't say that because I don't think it's very accurate. We can talk about people in the passive voice by saying we're governed or ruled. Um, you might want to say something like, in this country, we're governed by a bunch of, and fill in whatever rude words you think best describe your rulers. We used to be ruled by kings. Today, I think it's fair to say we're ruled by billionaires. But the effect is pretty similar. How do kings and billionaires alike rule us? With police. The purpose of the police is to carry out violence on behalf of the ruling class. They serve this function in several ways, and we'll talk about just a couple of the most basic ones today. First, they enforce laws and policies. As such, police and their work are also known as law enforcement. Government makes laws, usually to steal from people, and the police exist as a kind of permanent threat to scare you into not breaking those laws. If you break a law, or even if the police just suspect you of breaking a law, they can do all kinds of things to you. They can take your money away and call it a fine. They can kidnap you and call it arrest. They can throw you in a cage they call prison. If you resist, even by walking away, they can attack you. If you fight back, they can escalate the violence and kill you. And there's no law so small and unimportant that the police will not kill you to enforce it. A second function of the police is to stop the people from resisting the rule of the people in power. The police are well-armed and organized, and they have numbers, and that makes them seem impossible to resist. But people all over the world have resisted them. It's just not easy. Well, neither's learning English, but you're doing it. My point is, the police are there to make it look like the social order, or the status quo, the way things are now, is impossible to change. But it isn't. You know how a lot of buildings have security guards? Well, remember in my video on the state when I said the entire land of the country is considered the property of the state. Police are like security guards on the state's property. Except beyond what mere security guards have the police have full power over your body. They can do anything they want to you. 
That's pretty much how power works. Because police are enforcers for a system of rule, you need to think of them as part of that system. It doesn't really matter what they think, because their job is not to question things. Their job is to follow the orders of the ruling class. It doesn't matter if they feel bad for beating up students protesting the government or helping landlords kick poor people out of their apartments. These things are integral or integral to their jobs. If you don't want to help that system, don't join it. The alternative to police, my vision, is to make our own decisions take care of each other, and if someone starts using violence, we can stop them together. Strong communities stop violence before it even starts. Many communities exist without the police, and they're freer than those governed by someone else. But of course the people need to trust each other. They need to build trust among each other. And they also need to keep the police out. And that's not easy. Let's review the vocabulary. <clears throat> we use the word core, the core purpose, the core function uh, of something is the main or the most important part of something. See if you can remember what I said about the core functions of the police. We use the word labor, and in case you don't know the idiom to live off, we said that the state lives off the labor of someone else. Though you could say the same about um, anyone who owns a business. They live off someone else's labor as well. The state, you could say it governs or it rules, to rule, to govern, but also to be in charge, maybe. And again, as I said, some people would say the state leads, but as I'll say in a future video on this topic, it's really not the same thing. Um, I said uh, on behalf of, the police do violence on behalf of the ruling class, the people who are really in power. Um, you can do anything on someone's behalf. Uh, I could... Um, I could uh, go to an interview on your behalf if you think I can represent what you think. I can talk to someone else on your behalf for you. We talked about enforce. This word is used a lot with police to enforce the law. They call themselves law enforcement. And if you understand my position on the law, and if not, you can always ask me, then uh, you'll understand why I don't want people to enforce the law. Suspect is the verb for um, believing something, usually believing something that's negative. Like I could say, I suspect you stole my money, or I suspect you of stealing my money. It's going to be something bad like that, right? The police suspect this person of a crime. And the noun, a person who is suspected of something, is a suspect. So it's just a question of emphasis. To The verb is suspect. I suspect you. The person is a suspect. We use the word escalate. Escalate means increase, um, but it's used quite commonly with... Uh, police and police violence. They're trained that if, uh, they're trained to escalate violence in, in all kinds of cases. I use the terms the social order or the status quo. Those are really just ways of saying the way things are. The political economic arrangements that we live under. Um, most people would say that the social order is basically capitalist right now, uh, in most of the world, that is. It, uh, that's something we could argue about for hours. And I also said the police are, uh, sorry, the things like hurting people, hurting innocent people is integral, also pronounced integral, to the job of a police officer. 
Integral means necessary, an inherent part of it. So, as you see, I don't like the institution of police, and I really don't think we need them. Think about whether all of what I said made sense to you. You don't have to agree. That's okay. We're, we're used to seeing the police. It's a normal thing for us. We have to really think about it and question it uh, to really to see where I'm coming from. That's okay. Don't worry. Just learn the vocabulary. Ooh, and hit like and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. See you next time.